So this is my current clank modular system. It's currently two rows plus also a clank um, drum system. The drum system is not shown in the picture though. So the two rows we've got here, the top row, which is the row I'm going to be modifying. That's mostly made up of utility stuff. And then the bottom row is oscillators and a Behringer Crave. The main thing that's going to be happening to the top row, as well as being extended out and rearranged a little bit, is that I'm going to be adding another ADSR. So this is a dope for A140. Um, I've already got a Bifaco ADSR, as you can see here, which I uh, control with mostly the volume and so on. But I want a second ADSR for controlling the filter and so on. So uh, in future parts of this video, I'll be taking the top row apart and disassembling it, and then adding the new dope So I've removed all the cables and just put them out of the way. So here's all the modules taken out of the case. So the modules that will be going into the new top row of the Clank Modular are as follows. We've got the Erica Synths Pico input, the 4MS Row Power 40, the Dopefa A193, which is the USB and MIDI interface. We have an Erica Synths Pico Random, or RND, we have a 2HP LFO with a Hampshire Electronics mixer for channel. We've got two Little Fish passive malts. We've got a Behringer 904A uh, filter, kind of like a mode filter. We've got the Dope for A141 ADSR. The Bifaco ADSR. And finally, to get the sound out of the modular, we've got the Hampshire Electronics Quad VCA. So this is just a scribble on a notepad showing the layout of the modules. And using that, I've now laid out the modules on a new wooden framework, as you can see here. stretch right back so yeah so that's how the layout's going to be and uh, obviously I've got to assemble the wooden frame I'll paint that black and uh, everything will go in in that order so I've just popped outside ignore the uh, motorway noise in the background uh, with the Sun shining across the modular I think this gives you a better look at it so let's have a little tour so far I'm using my custom clank modular panel. And the uh, sections of wood will of course join the frame together and also make little separators between the modules. So I've got some uh, sawing to do. So now I've taken a bunch of the modules out, just left the ones on either end to keep it square and then I'm going to start fixing it and doing some painting. So I've now put the sides on the modular frame and put a few of the cross members in place and there's some more standing by. And the other side, yeah, the sides are just cardboard, they're just super glued on, a little bit of tape to hold them in place but when it's all painted and fixed in properly 
and all the modules are screwed in place it'll be plenty strong enough. Okay, so this is the uh, Clank Modular new case. Now it's all been painted black. It's come out pretty good. This is just done with a uh, Tamiya paint, model paint. It's a little bit patchy, it's still drying, but it's more or less there. Uh, but I haven't done the sides, and there's a reason for that. And that's because the sides, the sides are gonna be done with this. This is a kind of carbon tape, which is actually designed for use with motorcycle exhausts and such but it makes a really nice surface to go on the side of the modular I've used it on other things on my desk okay so here's the back and you can now see that all the cabling has been put in nice and neat with ties and here's the back of the modules and see all the circuit boards and stuff you can see the wooden frames holding it all together and here it is finished with the carbon tape all around the outside and the black paint so here's the finished setup I finished doing all the black paint and I put the modular in place and so let's have a quick look And here it is from another angle, and I've now got all the uh, colourful cables in place. So zooming in, let's have a look at the modules we've got in their final layout. So if I just move these cables out of the way. At the far side we've got an Erica Synths Pico input, then we've got a little gap, and then we've got the 4MS Row Power 40 which is powering the whole thing and we've got my little custom modular panel just as a blanking panel followed by the dope for A193 which is the USB and MIDI input from which uh, the cable there goes out to Renoise so it's Renoise that controls this that's followed by the Erica Simps Pico Random or R&D then we've got the 2HP LFO and we've got another little gap followed by the Hampshire Electronics 4 channel mixer then we've got two uh, passive malts then we've got the Behringer 904A which is my main filter based on the Moog filter then we've got the dope for A141 ADSR which is the new envelope I've added next to that is the original envelope which is the VC ADSR from Bifaco and then to get output we have the quad VCA also from Hampshire Electronics and then down on the bottom row still powered from the same setup 
We've got the oscillator section, which is made up of a Befaco Pony VCO. Then we've got a miniaturized version of Mutable Instruments Platz, which is the Untumbra Knit, which is a multi oscillator. And finally, here we've got an Electrosmith 3340, which is Electrosmith's take on the classic 3340 Curtis chip. And finally, although it's not Eurorack, it's a semi modular, so I include it in my Eurorack setup, which is a Behringer Crave with a custom face panel on it. And I very much integrate that into the Eurorack because of its inputs and outputs. Okay, so here's the modular with my first patch. You can see all the cable spaghetti. Uh, so the patch I had in mind was for a track that I'm currently working on, I basically wanted something along the lines of a kind of Moog bass, but mixed with a kind of guitar bass at the same time, a little bit of fuzz on it maybe. And so what I've done to patch that up is as follows, if uh, the camera is going to show this. So down amongst the cables, we've got a Bifaco Pony, and I've got a sort of square wave, which is pulse width modulated, and then that's blending with the Untumbra knit next door to it. The Untumbra knit is a Mutable Instruments Platz uh, clone in a smaller form factor. That's got a kind of plucked sound coming out of it, a kind of plucked wavetable. Then next to that, we've got the Electrosmith, and that's got a sine wave coming out of it very low as a sub to give it some bassiness. And then the slight fuzz sound is a square wave with a little bit of LFO coming out of the Crave. All of those are going into the mixer here. That's a Hampshire Electronics mixer. And then we've got two LFOs. We've got the dope for controlling the filter. And we've got the Bifaco controlling the overall um, volume level. And then the whole thing is being sequenced in Renoise. And this is what it sounds like. So there you go, that's the series of the uh, Clank Modular rebuild and I hope to come back to Modular in another video to rebuild my drum modular. So until the next time, I hope you've enjoyed this video, cheers.